It's not like I sit around thinking all the time about what happened to me as a kid, but it's always there. John Allen's got him in his grip, and he's able to force it in completion. My parents split up when I was three. Pops was in the army. They were sending him to South Korea. No dependents were authorized to go. My mom got custody of me and my brother Richard. She took us down south. She was struggling with some demons in her life, but I truly believe in my heart that she loved us and she was doing the best she could. One minute you think everything's fine, the next minute, you know, there's a knock at the door and Child Protective Services is saying they're here to take you. We have five minutes to get whatever you have that can fit in the backpack and you gotta go. A judge ruled that me and my brother couldn't return to our moms. And that was it. Me and Richard ended up in the system moving from shelter to shelter, foster home to foster home. But I had my brother and I leaned on him hard. He was strong enough for the both of us. He was my protector, my protector. He was all I had, he was all I had. To the day they split us up, forcing him to go live in a foster home and for me to stay behind, alone. That was by far the hardest, darkest, loneliest place I've ever been in my life. Once you're in the system, it's impossible to get out. But the system didn't know my dad, his courage, his conviction, they didn't know Sergeant First Class Richard Allen Jr., U.S. Army. When someone serves in the military, we call them a hero. For all the reasons you know. Sacrifice, Sacrifice service, service, valor, valor. But to an eight-year-old kid, he was a hero for one simple reason. He fought for me. Long custody battle over multiple states. Determination to get us back. It took a year in court, but eventually, Pops won. He got his sons back. We were a family. The moment that hit me, that was the single greatest moment of my life. That was everything. And I just remember me and my brother running full speed and just jumping into his arms. We were all back together and we could start the new chapter in our life. But my dad taught me the same discipline and accountability that he learned all those years in the military. Hard work, hard work, dedication. I did more push-ups than you could possibly imagine. School was a priority too. If I didn't get straight A's, I couldn't participate in football. Those were his standards, his values, and they became mine as well. Everybody needs somebody. And when you're talking to a kid who could care less about football, but he hears your story and he, it resonates with him and it gives him a little bit of hope. That's when it really hits me. Steps back, now up, runs out of time, sacked again. Thrown down by John Allen, second sack of the game. Though millions know my name and thousands cheer me every week, none of that even compares to the feeling when you're at your lowest and someone in your life reaches out with their hand to pull you up. My dad was the one who did that for me. Now I'm trying to be the one who does that for the kids growing up in shelters and foster homes to let them know the most important thing in this world. You are not alone. <laughs>